When I discovered this polar bear baby's breath, I knew I wanted to give a try at a big, beautiful bridal bouquet. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna teach you a standard technique that I've been using for years. And we're gonna do it with this polar bear baby's breath. It's gonna be quick, so you gotta keep watching. All right, we're going to take one sum of baby's breath. I've already scored this, so I've removed any lower pieces. If you don't know how to score, send me an email. I'll send you a link to our beginner's guide. They'll teach you that stuff. This right here is going to be my lead flower. Every additional flower is going to go in the opposite direction. So this lead flower is gonna stay straight. Every other flower is gonna go in the opposite direction. Now I want a big fluffy bouquet of this baby's breath. I want something that's gonna be grand and gorgeous. So I'm gonna hold this low and allow these stems to really dance and bounce. Look at that big stem right there. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Beautiful layers of baby's breath. And it's gonna to start to create a spiral in my hand. And I'm looking to see when I am placing this baby's breath, if I see any pieces that are just kind of funky or, or breaking off, I'm gonna go ahead and clip them. I'm gonna keep layering. As we're layering, it'll start to spiral. And once we get all our stems in, we'll be able to really work this around. Oh, look at that, it's coming together already. You know, if I was a flower, I would wanna be part of this bouquet. All right, so I've got my spiral, so I'm just gonna shift around my hand and start to play with these blooms, getting them at the height that I want. I can give a haircut if I want. Sometimes I might have a piece that's a little too long or a little too tall. This piece here, I'm actually gonna pull it out because I did a perfect spiral. It gives me that flexibility. I'm gonna cut this one in half. Look at this, it's so gorgeous. I'm gonna take this down again in that same spiral. So beautiful. And then I'm gonna take the smaller piece that I cut off and I'm actually gonna take it right here where I have this flat side and I'm gonna add it in there so it gives me a little bit of oomph and volume in that space. Oh my gosh, I have never, ever made a bridal bouquet with one bunch of baby's breath in my life. This polar bear is something spectacular. This is literally one bunch. Uh, I believe, I'll have to double check. I believe there was 15 stems in this one bunch. So beautiful. So then I'm gonna bind it. I've got a piece of bind it tape here. I'm gonna bind it. And this bind it tape is great because it sticks to itself. I'm gonna go around a few times. I'm gonna cut my stems so they're nice and even. And this is a light, this is a light fluffy bouquet. I'm then gonna add just a little piece of ribbon. And rather than pinning this ribbon, I'm gonna take my ribbon down, I'm just gonna give it a little knot. I wanna keep this classic and simple. Look at that, how beautiful. Such a simple, simple bouquet. This could be a bridal. It could be a large scale bridesmaids bouquet. Overall, this is just light and wonderful and beautiful. And I'm definitely having a love affair with polar bear baby's breath. It's definitely a thing. Now luxury is luxury and every bouquet is a luxury item. So we brought in this luxury glass. This is the Nachman glass is available exclusively through Smithers and Oasis. And look how perfect this is. You know, Baby's Breath used to get a bad rap, but it is on trend like never before and has a lot to do with these big, beautiful varieties that are being created. And this one here, spectacular. The polar bear paired with this gorgeous vase. This is a match made in wedding day heaven. Mm -hmm.